everyone in this video i am going to explain you what are isotopes okay and isobars and what is the difference between them okay so these things comes under nuclear chemistry okay it comes under nuclear chemistry and it is very important to know also and it's very easy also to understand so to understand nuclear chemistry we have to understand what is the structure of the atom structure of an atom so how atom is formed or anything wherever whenever you take a substance okay you break it into very small small part you give you nothing but a small atom it will come to a very much small atom whenever you break a substance to a very small thing you get very small small particles okay these particles which is the you can say this is the smallest particle which cannot be disintegrated we call that to part to be an atom which is a very small in size you can say a very small in size this i'm showing in a bigger diagram okay but when you break something into very small or um, many minute particles the last one which you cannot break further it is called to be an atom but nowadays we know that atoms can be further broken into protons your neutrons okay and electrons this thing was not known before uh, in the before di uh, discovery but now we understand that proton atoms can be broken down into protons neutrons and electrons so what are you can say okay if you take the nucleus this is a nucleus of an atom nucleus inside this nucleus there are protons and there are neutrons okay and the electrons it revolves around the nucleus okay so we say this cons this three part together consist of your what is called your atom okay now what happens is that the number of proton and is always equal to the number of electrons okay neutrons man can vary the number of neutron in an atom can vary okay whereas uh when the number of protons is equal to the number of electron we call it to be variation of different elements when what happens as in some elements if we see that the number of protons is same is same whereas the number of neutrons number of neutrons vary okay we say they are isotopes of that element okay where the number of uh, neutron protons are same whereas the number of neutrons vary in a in uh, in one element so that time we say it is isotope like there is hydrogen 1 1 then you have hydrogen 2 1 then you have hydrogen 3 1 also okay so these two are hydrogen these are all isotopes of hydrogen where the protons or you can say the pro number of protons is same okay whereas the number of mass numbers see this is actually when we consider an element x okay if it is a and if it is b this one is called your atomic number number which is nothing but equal to the number of protons number of protons okay and this is your uh, mass number okay and this is nothing but equal to number of protons plus neutron number of protons plus neutron gives you the mass number so okay if you understand that your mass number is the number which is written always in nava of the element okay so that is equal to number of protons and number of equal to number of protons and neutrons so since we know inside the nucleus there is neutron also there is proton also okay so that is gives your mass num mass number whereas the what we write down is your number of protons only which is equal to the atomic number and which is also equal to the number of electrons 
okay this you should remember so in any element in any element whenever we are taking of hydrogen okay we are taking this of hydrogen it has one one okay it has one two also this is nothing but the heavy hydrogen or we say deuterium also okay and uh, this one also very much unstable it is unstable so why because see here what happens there is change in the mass number mass number is varying neutrons are varying okay and here how many protons are there proton is one one okay in the first one uh, one proton here here also there will be proton will be same see since it is one 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 everywhere there is one one that means your atomic number is same you can say the number of protons is same whereas mass number is varying that means number of neutrons is varying here it is one neutron here it is uh, it, it will be two neutrons there will be no neutron out here here, here it is one neutron and the other one here it is another neutron another new, uh, two neutrons are there so that's why it is varying so number of protons are same that means and the number of neutrons are varying okay in that case we say this these are the isotopes of the same element because it is hydrogen only so isotopes of the same element so whenever we talk of isotopes we talk of isotopes of the same element only okay and what are isobars let us go to isobars so now what is isobars isobars are nothing which has same number of neutrons neutrons okay inside the nucleus but they have have different number of protons number of protons okay so these elements we say it to be they are isobars of each other isobars of each other okay now we will take the example of if we say that these are nothing but the iso isobars of each other we will take suppose this is your thing okay this is your uh, if i write to be a okay here it is b and if this is b uh, sorry if it is this is b and this is c suppose okay so in this case if this element is there what is this these are nothing but your atomic number okay these are nothing but your atomic number or you can say number of pro uh, protons so so see number of protons here it is different whereas mass number is b only so mass number is same this is mass number so you can say this is the number of neutron plus proton here also number of neutron plus proton this is your mass number so mass number is same whereas your atomic number is different number of protons are different so what we can uh, we say that when there is same number of neutrons neutrons will be the same whereas there is a difference in the number of protons we say it to be isobars let's see the example of lead we will take the example of lead okay lead is pb okay it is 82 and 214 and we will take the example of lead 82 and your 210 okay so tops why see 82 82 okay here atom your number of protons is same you say, and the mass number is different sorry this is an example of your isotopes these are isotopes of each other okay when you go for a nuclear reaction when these two lead uh, lead states comes mass number is different when its atomic number is same and isotopes now we will take another example where mass number is same see this we will take polonium 214 okay this is 84 when this loses an alpha alpha particle it becomes lead 210 this is your 82 okay this one again when it loses a uh, a beta particle okay it becomes your bi 210 this mark 210 okay and this one also again when it is loses a beta particle it becomes polonium 80 84 82 80 80 3 84 it becomes 210 now check in this case what what is happening is that see the elements are becoming different okay here also see all the three what happens is that there see 82 83 and 84 that means down thing uh, you can say these elements their mass uh, atomic number is different whereas check the mass number mass number is 210 210 and 210 so these three are your isobars of each others 
okay now you will say from where this is losing an alpha particle and beta particle i'm not i'm just not understanding yes this will you will not understand because what is that this is nothing but radioactive disintegration so when i will start with radioactive disintegration that time it will be clear what does these these things they mean if i go for total nuclear chemistry that time you will understand but the meaning of isotopes and isobars is this only that is their mass number is different in case of your isobars and protons are same whereas in case of your isotopes their protons are same the protons are same whereas there is a different in the mass number so this becomes your isotopes and isobars and what is isotones isotones these are another term which you have to understand what are isotones isotones are atoms with same number of neutrons same number of neutrons okay but different number of nucleons but different number of nucleons okay same number of neutrons now you will say what is this same number of neutrons and what is nucleons so these are also two different terms it to it is it also has a two different meaning now see what is these nucleons these nucleons are nothing but see here what happens in case of an atom when you try to break an atom okay first inside an atom there is a proton there is neutrons okay and there are also substances which are called nucleons nucleons or these are nothing but your alpha particle beta particle and your gamma rays these are also called nucleons okay so it also consists of electron proton neutron and nucleons when this nucleons there is a difference in the uh, uh, number of nucleons that times those are called your isotones so see when there is a number of protons and neutrons is made up made a nucleus there is also called nucleons that are called your alpha particle this is beta particle and gamma particle when these are also there inside and uh, inside an electron uh, sorry inside an atom that times when these are different when the sum of uh, same different number of nucleons are present whereas neutrons are same protons are same that time we say those uh, items to be isotones so when whenever an atom is broken down in nuclear chemistry you will not only get isobars isotopes also you will get isotones okay isotones you will get now see what happens is that the nuclear species having same atomic number and same mass number but different radioactive properties are called isomers or nuclear isomers nuclear iso isomers so what do you mean by nuclear isomers nuclear isomers are nothing but the nuclear species having same atomic number they have same atomic number okay these are species which is having same atomic number that means number of protons is same okay the uh, same atomic number and same mass number they also has uh, mass number to be same this is mass number this is also same whereas they have different in the radioactive properties radioactive properties are different properties are different that means you can say uh, radioactive properties are different here is the, there is another radioactive properties here also radioactive properties are different that means what happens is that while uh, breaking down they will show different kind of rays coming out nucleons coming out so those are called nuclear isomers they are called nuclear isomers okay so these uh, these things you have to remember there is so many different things there is another called isoters isosters what are these the molecule of different substances which contain same number of atoms and same total number of electrons which lead to the similarity in their physical and physical properties are called isotopes and the phenomenon is called isotopism okay for example of your carbon dioxide and n2o that is the laughing gas these two uh, things what happens is that they have the molecules of different substances they have molecule of different substances which contain the same number of atoms that means in this case the molecule will contain same number of number of atoms are same okay 
okay same number of atoms and same number of new uh, electrons total number of electrons are also same okay same number of atoms same number of electrons which will create similarity in physical properties similarity okay in physical properties physical properties of these elements that means for physical properties that means you can say the carbon dioxide gas and n2o gas they almost resemble same kind of physical properties they will look same they will uh, smell same okay so these or maybe they will taste same so these are called your physical properties are same so these two are isotopes of each other okay and the process is called isotropism so there are so many different things when you come to uh, nuclear chemistry there is another is called isodiapers isodiapers now what are these isodiapers isodiapers having uh, atoms having the same isotopic number or isotopic excess okay are called isodiapers same isotopic number same isotopic number that means they don't have uh, they don't have they are not isotopes of each other but their isotopic number is same for example if you take uranium 235 92 and thorium 231 90 and pot uh, your potassium 1939 and is iron it is 19 and 9 okay uh, there are that there are number of neutrons number of neutrons minus number of number of protons if you subtract the number of neutrons present in these uh, these one these elements okay if you subtract the number of neutrons and protons you will get the same answer same number okay so they will be having the same isotopic number or isotopic excess excess isotopic excess means why because there is number of neutrons minus number of protons will be that means some amount will be there some amount of neutrons will be in excess in this kind of molecules okay in this kind of sorry these kind of elements some amount of neutrons will be in excess so they will have same isotopic number iso topic number since see here the number of protons see check 90 90 19 90 9 so there is no, there is no, there is not same there is not same of isotopic number that means these are not isotopes of each other but they are they have same isotopic number isotopic number is nothing but isotopic number is nothing but the excess of neutrons you can say or the number of neutrons minus the number of protons whatever number you are getting that is called your isotopic number so in these element isotopic number is same but they are not isotopes of each other nor they are iso bars of each other nor they have same mass number they they see check here there's no they they do not have the same mass number also but when you subtract the number of neutrons and protons from these elements you are going to uh, you are going to get the same isotopic number now how will you understand see here 235 minus 92 if you do whatever you are getting you are getting the other one that is that will be the number of neutrons present out here because it is this one is nothing but neutron plus proton this is nothing but neutron plus proton this also neutron plus proton so proton is given to you 19 90 here 92 here 19 here and 9 here so number of protons you know okay number of protons here uh, protons is known to you so if you subtract the number of protons you are getting the number of neutrons and when you subtract the number of neutrons and protons if you subtract so whatever number you are getting that will be the same and hence that will be the same isotopic number or isotopic excess so these are called isodiapers of each other okay So this much is uh, we will go through in this video then we will go for nuclear forces and how the things break down into electron proton gamma rays beta rays alpha rays okay so this this will come into nuclear chemistry but since today i'm just uh, touching the topics of isomers isotopes and isobars so this is the thing so i hope you you all will understand now then if you want we'll go to the nuclear chemistry in the next uh, next video thank you so much